After Marjane has a threatening encounter with the Guardian of the Revolution, the chapter The Shabbat opens with a discussion about a new advancement in the war against Iraq. Marjane family discusses whether or not the Iraqi forces have acquired ballistic missiles capable of leveling buildings. Her father's optimism is proved wrong when the next page reveals that the Iraqis have begun targeting Tehran with missiles that they did in fact have, called Scuds. After active attacks began, many Tehran citizens fled with Marjane's family staying behind to complete Marjane's important French education. Marjane's neighbors, the Baba Levies, also stay behind including their daughter Anita. One ordinary day, Marjane goes to shop with her friends for clothes and jewelry despite inflation making the two men just over 6% of its original value. Suddenly, a loud boom rings out from a missile that exploded in Marjane's neighborhood. Emotionally distressed, she rushes home to thankfully discover that her family and her home are safe except for the windows. However, the missile has decimated the Baba Levy's house, and as Marjane walks away from the rubble, she spots a bracelet attached to Nita's lifeless arm. The first key point of the chapter is the missile discussion. Despite having been surrounded by war and anguish for years now, Marjane's father remains optimistic that ballistic missiles are outside the reach of the Iraqis. Yet, reality hits them when Tehran suddenly becomes a target for missile strikes. Satrapi emphasizes the destruction of Tehran by immediately depicting the missile destruction on a new page. The contrast between expectation and reality partially exposes readers to the extent of the destruction and the emotional toll it leaves on Marjane. Despite the ongoing war, Marjane strives for a sense of normalcy in her life. She goes shopping with her friend for jewelry and clothes when the reality of war interrupts her teen youth and a ballistic missile hits her street. The sudden shifts in tone between a happy shopping trip and running to her possibly destroyed home highlights the dominating presence of war in Marjane's youth. The panel of her and her friend looking at jewelry and the panel that shows their reaction to the explosion puts the characters in the same position but with different expressions. These panels visually show readers how war is a looming threat in the Middle East and how it quickly overshadows Marjane's youth and innocence. The effect of war on innocent civilians is demonstrated when Marjane discovers her neighbor's home has been destroyed along with the family that lived in it, the Baba Levies. Her mother tries to distract her from this cruel reality, reminding readers that Marjane is still a child in need of emotional protection. However, her worst fears are confirmed when she discovers her neighbor Netta's bracelet attached to her unrecognizable arm. Netta's death is all the more impactful since she was close to Marjane's age and someone Marjane talked to. This tragedy stresses the destruction of family, friends, and innocence in Marjane's Jane's life all at a young age. Readers understand her suffering and anger and feel an emotional connection with Marjane. Many people reading Persepolis are away from any war and most likely only hear about tragedies like these from the comfort of their homes. Marjane's life and this specific event expose readers to the hell that she and many others live in as a result of war. This panel of Marjane walking all alone in the abandoned Tehran street is important because it emphasizes the displacement of ordinary citizens caused by war. The panel, drawn in a high angle perspective, creates an effect of emptiness and expansiveness on the street while making Marjane appear small and insignificant. This effect is created through the large trees that loom over her and the street that continues to the edge of the panel. Marjane's shadow highlights how alone she is and also expresses her upset emotions. The once crowded streets filled with outraged people rebelling has been emptied by the threat for more. Moving on, the panel of Marjane walking away from the destroyed Baba Levy's house is important because it highlights just how different her youth is compared to other children. Normally, kids do not have to see their neighbor's hands sticking out from the ruins of a home that was bombed, but for Marjane, she has to deal with these aspects of war and conflicts from a young age. The panel's effect is that it reminds the readers just how destructive war is and how much of an emotional impact it has on Marjane. The fact that in the panel her mother is pulling her away, yet Marjane keeps looking at the destruction helps reinforce this effect of shock and impact that the event has on Marjane. This bracelet is drawn to stick out and pull readers to it, which helps to ensure that readers are taken aback when they first view it, and in this way are able to understand the harsh realities of war. The chapter, The Shabbat, and the Emily Dickinson poem, referred to as After Great Pain, A Formal Feeling Comes, share many points of intertextuality. Both highlight the mental pain experienced by Marjane and the speaker in the poem. In the poem, Dickinson writes, A formal feeling comes, and Marjane experiences this directly when witnessing the destruction of the Baba Levy's house. Her pain is immense, and she, similar to the speaker in the poem, experiences the numbness and disorientation that comes with this pain. Marjane has been surrounded by loss, and although death is a part of life, because she was friends with her neighbor and had a connection with her, this pain hits her harder and she feels this hour of lead similar to the speaker in the poem, where both feel a sense of heavy sadness and intense loss during these moments.